All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It's Wednesday Wanderlust Wednesday here in the cave. You know what that means. That's when we throw some stuff at you that maybe you never heard or you haven't heard in forever or you don't want to hear. I don't know. Uh, and we haven't done uh, anything like that in a little while, a true one. Uh, this is our third episode this, uh, uh, this week uh, by me and then two more from Paul and Frank. So we're on a roll here. Uh, but all those episodes have been long, so today I'm hoping this will be a rock cave short, if you will. Sometimes people, that's what they're looking for. Uh, maybe I should just do stuff on TikTok where I just do like six facts and that's it. Uh, anyway, but we're going back to 1987. I heard this song and I, and I don't even know if I did it in season one or season two, but I didn't bother to look because I just remember how much I love this song. But we're ta- first we're talking about the artist John Astley. Not Rick Astley, not related. We'll get to that in a minute. John Astley is a Brit. He's uh, 73 years old. Uh, he's a, He was a tape engineer and a record producer. And, uh, you know, that's where he basically did all, a lot of his uh, work and his claim to fame. But he has... Uh, his father was a composer of television themes and scores for shows like in Britain like The Saint and Danger Man. Uh, his one sister, Virginia, was a singer-songwriter in the 80s and 90s. She was big in Japan and Asia. It's true. We do like to say big in Japan, but she was. Uh, and she was a uh, kind of a cult here, cult artist in the UK. And then his other sister, Karen, married Pete Townsend in 1968, where they had three children uh, and were married uh, all the way till 1994. And it was that connection to the who that uh, ended up with uh john astley being a record producer of who are you he was a co-producer of that record uh, and he's the one who took a 25 minute version of the title track who are you and pared it down to six minutes so that's six minutes of just glorious music that we love so much uh he was a tape engineer for eric clapton he uh produced uh it was a live album uh, for Clapton. Um, trying to think what the name of that Clapton album was. Uh, but anyway. Uh, and uh, then later on when things were kind of shifting, uh, he did more work with uh, mastering and remastered. Mastering. He mastered records for, you name it, ABBA, Van Morrison, Paul McCartney, Judas Priest, Tori Amos, Led Zeppelin, Tears for Fears, Peter Gabriel, uh, again, you name it. Um, his wife is an illustrator and author of over 20 novels. <laughs> um, what else can we say about him? I mean, that's amazing, right? What a family that would sit around at family dinner. Imagine the stories uh, uh, that happened there. Uh, but uh, somewhere along the way, he decided with all this producing and work he's doing, he's like, you know what? I can put a record out record or two so let me put a record out so uh, he picked 1987 to put out a record and it was called everyone loves the pilot except the crew great title for a record the only problem is this was 1987 his name was john astley and then there was rick astley in 1987 with a worldwide global smash never gonna give you up and people were like is it the same guy or who is this guy they kind of look alike what's going on here Uh, But anyway, he had a song, he had a song on there called Jane's Getting Serious. And I love this song. I was all over this song in 1987. I was playing this thing left and right. It's catchy, it's quirky, it's fun. I was all about catchy and quirky with my music. Wand? All right. Uh, You know what? You know the rules around here. I usually do one take and that's it. And then oftentimes I figure something out afterwards or something I wanted to say. Uh, and then sometimes, I, uh, more than often than not, I just type it in the description. Uh, but uh, this one, I just wanted to say uh, uh, in the video. So here I am. I'm going to insert this somewhere in the video towards the end. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't profess to know everything, so I do a lot of reading, too. So I have this topic in my mind. I have some information, but then I do some reading. And it was, uh, you know, I knew I've been loving this record forever. But uh, when I read about his connection to Eric Clapton... When I was playing the music, the song, for the billionth time, I was like, wait a minute, that's Eric Clapton on guitar in this song. It's totally Eric Clapton. And sure enough, looked it up, and it is. It's Eric Clapton on guitar on that record. So, there you go. Another tasty morsel for you. 
back to the regularly scheduled program. And uh, so I just really enjoy this. It's good, clever. It's a good song. It's a decent song. Uh, so yeah, he was uh, just picked bad timing when it came to 1987. Then it ended up being used in a Heinz commercial uh, featuring Matt LeBlanc long before he was in Friends. And so it's just immortalized as, on that. So this poor guy put out a nice little single record. It went to number 77 on the Billboard Hot 100. It did go to number 7 on the album rock single chart. So that's three sevens. Seven, seven, seven. A Boeing 777. Everyone loves the pilot except the crew. Uh, but that's John Astley for you. Um, interesting, right? Four and a half minutes. That's your song of the day. Does anyone remember this song? Jane's Getting Serious by John Astley. That's your little morsel, your tasty little wanderlust morsel today that you can just chew on, play it, tell me if you remember it, but it's a good one. I do love it. So whatever you're doing today, I hope it involves music, and today it involves that record. We're going to try to get a few more episodes in this week, so stay tuned. <sighs> Again, whatever you're doing, I hope it involves music, and as usual, catch on the flip side. Five and a half minutes, not bad. To take pain.